old pirate friend back in my humble home. Great work. What you did, it was an impossible task for me. I wanted to return to see the Sultana crown, not laid in her tomb. Returning. That dream is gone. I am tired of losing people. All while Van Ginko plays Papa over a bunch of weeping Orankaya who are soiling their robes. The DMC don't see it, but they removed the hand that was holding back our blades. We can swing freely and slice their ships into a thousand pieces. I have nothing to fear now. There is nothing else they can take from me. These idiots think if they call me pirate, I'll feel shame. I feel rage. I feel fury. I feel ready. I don't want Rempa anymore. What I want is to see them dead. I remember when we were alone in the Sultana's throne room. She dreamed she had no title, no name to uphold. She wished she had the freedom to be honest. No more lying, Captain. No more of feeling sorry for what we should or could have done. Now, there's only cannons. A skilled craftsman. He knows the realities of war depend on fiery, iron-willed souls like him. Lucky we are to have him. He used to make swords for the Sultan, you know. Decorative, boring symbols for idle men. Swords are meant to be thrust and plunge, not hung on walls. But I admit, even with all that strength, I still feel pity for the man. He has endured many lifetimes of pain. Pale, greedy hands strangled that man's heart and left it to rot. Fortunately, he found Telok Penjara, like the Unbound, like many of us. But he is still restless. I can hear him hammering in the night like a steady heartbeat, a comforting sound to those who like him, a lullaby for those who never sleep. True that snoring doesn't pay off bounties, though the DMC have made millions putting my people to sleep. Remember the good ones in your life? The ones that keep you moving forward despite the pain? Soon you'll know the streets of Telok Penjara like I do. A place where no single person controls what happens. When I was in the palace, the merchants were happy. But the DMC sent their most zealous dog. Van Kinko. That Dutchman pinches every penny and taxes every pohonier. Of course, he stops my shipments. Brands them as contraband. Now, if I want my weapons, I must either beg or take them by force. Pirates like you, however, are free to steal. <laughs> I didn't realize pirates were interested in art unless it was to steal it. Next time I want to be inspired, I shall come to you. You're a funny kind, pirates. Not long ago, Van Kinko was one of you. But a pardon from the crown of Holland was all it took to obliterate his past. Return my weapons. Let my supporters know Rama trade does not stop for the DMC's whistles. Enjoy the peace of your ship. I envy you, pirate.
Sultana can rest now. Free from the Well, well, a big shark has come. I'm not familiar with gratitude, but I assume this strange sensation I have now is that Bedi thing. My officers will have a drink on your behalf tonight. I pay, they bet you'd return. I bet you'd sink. <laughs> Excuse our little game. I lost a few coins, but I won a valuable lesson. You're either as remarkable as they say, or Van Kinkle is losing his touch. Fine, I'll admit it. You might just be the villain we were looking for all along. The shipment you collected was only branded contraband because the DMC didn't profit from it. Those weapons mean power to me and a small fortune to you. But I know the DMC. They will not surrender this route so easily. And I won't tire of the sight of cannonballs, so keep them coming, Captain. <laughs> 